You're a married man. You know how it works. I do. He's fine right there. All right, I'm rolling anytime. Now, I'm not as familiar with your horse as I am with some of the other horses that will be in this race. Uh, his resume might not be as built as much, but it appears that he's coming into the race really well. He's been training very well, and he looks great. What do you think is his strongest attribute? Well, thank you for that. I think he looks great also. Uh, he trains real well here at Churchill. His workouts have been terrific here. And look, we know we're a long shot. Um, some great horses running in here. West Point Thoroughbreds, they're, they're game on taking a shot. And, uh, you know, we're just hoping that he likes his track better than he's liked the last two. So we felt good about the spring. He was coming the right way. And, you know, his last two races just haven't been that good. But his workouts have been terrific here. He's doing well, as you say, he looks great, so he's healthy and we'll see what happens. Well, is there a, a, a special post position or strategy that you think that this horse needs? I mean, post positions, we'll just see. Um, strategy, we hope he finishes as good as he did uh, in the Ellis Park race. He really galloped out good after the race and that was kind of the best part of it for some reason. But uh, we're hoping that he finishes strong and has a good trip. I mean, we do it, you know, we're always trying to keep them in form, get them in peak, peak form for the races. So it's just something we constantly do. You know, we knew where the Derby was. They moved it till September. So we just kind of plotted it out. And, you know, things didn't go great for my horse. They went great for a lot of other horses. So, you know, trainers just kind of map it out as we go. All right. Most of the time we're looking for athletes, not just at the yearling sales, but at the two-year-old and training sales where we picked him up. So he had a big stride. Uh, we have stride analysis actually when they do the breeze show that helps us you know, kind of separate the, the boys from the men and the Amazons from the ladies. And he really fit all of the things that we look for. Plus he was just a, a very balanced athletic looking colt at the time before he lost his, uh, his new news, so to speak. Uh, he was just a horse that we, we didn't think would bring a ton of money because uh, he was late in the sale and um, he was not a horse that was super, super fast. He was kind of in that middle ground for the breezers, but he checked off all of our boxes. He really did. He's not the biggest dude in the world, but we've had, we've had horses with Dallas Stewart before in the past that weren't the biggest dudes in the world that won more than a million dollars. Macho again kind of comes to fruition, comes to mind. He was second in the Preakness, I don't know, it seems like several lifetimes ago. There you go. So he wasn't a huge horse, very much like this horse, just a nice balanced, rhythmical, very efficient moving type of, uh, type of, of animal. And that's what we look for. We don't spend a great deal of time, especially at the two-year-old in training sales with pedigree, although we're always looking for something that can get you past six or seven furlongs. And he certainly did have that type of pedigree profile by Painter out of an unbridled song mare. We thought we could go a little bit longer with him and we hope we can go a mile and a quarter effectively with him. So what kind of shot do you think this guy has to win this A long shot, <laughs> a real, real long shot. I think, one of the things that gave us a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of puzzlement too was what happened in the Ellis Park Derby when he hit the 16th pole because it was almost a replay of the Indiana Derby and then all of a sudden something happened different something was different and when he galloped out like he did and he's qualified on the point system and he's been a steady, sound racehorse that's competed against the best of his generation, we thought, you know what, now's the time. Why not? We're a, uh, we're a company that, that spends a lot of time talking about dreams with people that decide to invest their hard-earned money in these horses. And this horse, by all the rules and by our own eyeballs in the sense that he's competed against the best of his generation, has qualified legitimately. So why not take a shot? 
this barn has a history of doing some big things with long shots. Before you go, spell your name and what, what would be a, a title for you for some of the super on the Oh, okay. Uh, Jeff Lifson, so it's Jeff, common spelling, J-E-F-F-L-I-F-S-O-N. And um, <laughs> flunky with West Point, West Point Thoroughbreds. Just put that in. Man, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, no, that's Terry. He'll get real upset if I do that. Just put West Point Thoroughbreds. Yeah, that's perfect.